So last night on the Dan Corder show, the spotlight was on the former Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Zizi Godra's arrest, the charges leveled against him, and what this means for powerful politicians who break the law. Let's take a look. Another big shot, powerful politician has been arrested. I don't know what country we're living in. <laughs> Zizi Cordua, seen here regretting this shirt a lot, is facing charges of accepting bribes to the value of 1.6 million rand that could result in up to 15 years jail time. He was the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture until a few hours after his court appearance when he resigned, which is another thing we are not used to seeing from politicians who are implicated in crimes. It was kind of crazy seeing ANC heavyweight Nosi Viwe Mapisa Ngakula getting arrested a few months ago. Now Zizi Kodwa? Politicians meeting consequences? This is really not the South Africa that we know. Kodwa has been a viral sensation for his unique way of handling the media. I just arrived. Is the president, is the president coming? coming? I just arrived. Is when last did you speak to him? I just arrived. When last did you speak to him? I just arrived. Is the president coming? I just arrived. I don't know his inside. So what are you oh, no, he, he, he also went viral when he tried to hold Tyler's Grammy during a, a trophy tour that one time. Well, we know that um, this album actually has She knew. She could smell it. We didn't know yet, but Tyler knew. Now, Zizi Kodwa stands accused of accepting bribes from a man, a businessman named Jahan Mackay, who wanted to buy Kodwa's influence over the awarding of tenders. Mackay made a number of payments to Kodwa, raising from, uh, ranging from tens of thousands of rands to one million once. And it also included a payment of 30,000 rand labeled Streetwise Zizi. <laughs> yes, Streetwise Zizi. And if there is any kernel of truth to these allegations, it will truly be winner-winner chicken dinner for the justice system.